All right, everyone, and hello, and welcome to another run against Demo Malzino. These are always fun because no matter how difficult they might end up making him in the main game, his demo version is pretty much always going to be stronger than that. So in some way, the demo is like a great thing to have because it's in a way like perfect content. You don't get to show off your building at all, or your items at all, or anything else, but it's 100% pure skill. So what we're looking at today is Courage Hammer. Uh, this got a big rework going into Sunbreak. It's gotten some pretty significant buffs. It also has this Wirebug skill here that makes charged attacks deal additional damage. So that helps out quite a bit. It seems like it does a lot of KO, but apparently this set in the demo also has... KO or Slugger level 3. Big changes. Uh, everything seems to charge much faster, or at least it responds to focus much better. Uh, water Strike now, after you land a, the Golf Swing, or just whenever you land a Golf Swing in general, you can go straight to a level 3, so that's really huge. I mean, just in general, it just got everything it needed to be viable. Now, I'm not going to say... Courage Hammer's going to be the best setup ever. I still think there's a lot of damage and a lot of potential in still doing Impact Crater spam. But I think I speak for a lot of people that played a lot of Hammer. It just got really boring really fast. So, you know, sometimes I, I, I think about this concept again of like, you know, it, just because it's better, it does more damage. If you're attacking a training pole that ran out of life first, is it a better setup? I mean, it might be easier, it might kill the thing faster, but is it, like, interesting to watch? And I feel like the combo style with Courage Hammer ends up being uh, much more visually interesting and also a lot more fun to play. So, for Impact Crater, we are still using it. Uh, it's just not, like, <laughs> non-stop. You know, you, you throw it into downs, but other than that, you don't have to feel obligated to constantly huck it out and, and try and get damage in that way. Uh, because you do hit so often with Courage Hammer, it's... <laughs> I know this is Copium. It's possible this might actually end up being okay with Element. Uh, it remains to be seen if the extra hits deal elemental damage. If they do, it might actually be amazing for Element. If they don't, um, it'll all be very dependent on what, what hammers were actually given in the main game. Uh, Raw is still very likely to be King. Especially, you know, Silk Bind boosts. Um, sort of ramp ups are still very, very good. Yeah, if we got a flinch or something there, I would have been able to take that triple pound into a level three charge and gotten a little bit of extra damage out there. Um, but this fight is just really fun. You know, you don't have the luxury necessarily of of going out of your way a lot and positioning better uh you just have to straight up water strike <laughs> a lot of the time like your your chances your choice is water strike and then maybe get a counter or don't water strike and almost definitely get hit in addition to that i i do feel like of all the weapons i've tried in the demo to me at least I think Hammer is maybe the most difficult. You get a lot of KOs, but even compared to something like the Hunting Order, it just doesn't feel like you get a lot of damage. I realized at the last moment there that <laughs> my Silkbind buff would have probably been enough to actually get, get the ride. And if I remember correctly, I won't spoil anything, I think... We mismanage our Rathian a little bit here. You know, ideally, just before you do the Mounted Punisher, you want to make sure that your wire bugs are full by evading and then just letting it reset. I'm pretty sure I hecked that up. It is very hecked up. It's not only that, I mean, also, I could have chosen to take a little bit of time to, to throw fireballs. These aren't normally things you need to worry about. Most weapons in the demo are capable of, of killing Malzino with little to no uh, Pokemon assistance. It's just with with Hammer, you know, okay, in our best case scenario, we're going to get, what, 
600 damage out of um, a move that you know takes up you know a lot of timing and precision with like impact crater, whereas like hysteria great sword is getting a thousand <laughs> more, you know, uh, through bombing uh, hysteria techniques or just getting counters in general through hysteria. So I don't even use the word like it's either feast or famine. I mean it's just it's pretty much just famine. I bring Malzino up here because I originally thought there was going to be uh, a fire fountain. It's only by the time I got up here I realized there is no fire fountain. Um, so we hacked up. We hacked up there too. <laughs> oh well. Just so many KOs. And again, it's, it's not really easy to know or say whether or not this is exclusively uh, Malzino is super weak to KO or if it's just because we've got Slugger 3. I'd say even with Slugger 3, he is flinching an awful lot. Yeah, and likewise, you know, they've said they're going to go back and, and re-examine some of the demo motion values. I would really like to see uh, the golf swing move get like a, a some sort of a buff. 163 is just not a lot of damage compared to what like a lot of other weapons get just by existing. <laughs> it's just like not enough. A little bit of positioning there. It's a lot of the tail attacks have like a, a kind of a weird delay to them. Water Strike definitely got buffed. Like it's definitely easier to land now than it was in Base Rise, but you know it's still not like completely free. I can't make up my mind between whether or not I want to. Wall bang him with the marionette spider, or if I just want to keep trying to water strike him. Those that's a really interesting attack, and maybe at a certain point we'll figure out, you know, what based off the noise direction those projectiles will take. As far as I can tell, it I mean based on my current skill level, they feel random. And they hurt. They deal so much damage. You really can't afford to make a huge mistake um, in terms of, you know, choosing the wrong way to go. Usually if you're you're close enough to him, you could run the right at him, but in that case, he, ran, he, he shot one to the side. In other cases, he'll shoot them, four of them out, and they'll leave the middle open, and they'll, like, twist and turn. Very odd. Without the special skill up, there is a argument to be made that just doing Big Bang would have been better damage there than just doing Courage combos. It's probably true. Alternatively, with the combo up, you could also maybe, you know, go through and use Triple Pound into the level 3 charge. That might also be better. These are all things, you know, we could go through and do damage analysis right now, but while we're still waiting for the final balance patch and motion dies and stuff like that, it's things to be aware of. It's not necessarily things that you have to feel like, oh, this is the winner or this isn't, you know. If we were to go buy demo values, we'd all be doing Infernal Melody forever <laughs> never and never switch off of it on Hunting Horn, which obviously is not, not the case. So Stinkbank's going to save us a bit here. Uh, we've got a Tetronodon, we've got a Water Geyser, and we've got an extra Marionette Spider. And again, it feels a little shameful, but it's the it's just hard. Hammer just has a hard time getting the damage out there in the context of the demo. I'm not worried at all. Like, I'm not worried at all for the main game. I'm, I, I don't think it's going to be something that's going to suffer relative to other weapons. I just 
think in the context of this demo, it's it's the hardest weapon. Like even heavy bowgun, to a certain degree. I mean, at the very least, it deals damage. <laughs> at least you could shoot out a ton of either spread three or or pierce three or even you know sometimes get a nice wyvern heart off. Hammer is like you're just scraping, scraping for every bit of damage that you can get. And sometimes with certain weapons, I would take that time there instead of doing a final attack like that. A uh, heavy attack, I would do a light attack to get a water blight off. I didn't do it this time, but I started doing that with other weapons, and I feel like it's worth it. I think for Hammer especially, when he's not in his special mode, it makes sense. Sometimes you just get punished. Sometimes you get your counter, and... Uh, it's not good enough. Although, at the same time, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, we've still got a marionette spider. If he morbs out faster, because we did that, it actually ends up being an okay thing, because that could lead into another topple. He's got three actions he can do after he enrages like that. He can do the double wing stance, uh, stab. He can do the double tail poke, and he can do the fly up in air and smash the ground attack. The flying up in the air um, smash attack is probably the scariest. Because if for some weapons, if you're not already out of the way, you have to counter. I guess it's scariest for something like Hunting Horn, I guess. Is pretty much the best case scenario, although he's a little bit farther away. We're not in the right um, scroll for impact crater here, so we just have to do a normal combo. If I were really cool, I would have water strike that, but I wasn't close enough to actually, like, land anything on him, I guess. You could, I mean, I guess I could have done the counter into a golf swing into a charge and maybe hit, but it's it's really dangerous to be waddling around with a charge at him. Alright. We do have blue now that just popped up there. I know my head's in the way. Blood Blight, to me, isn't really that scary. For certain weapons, I think it's it's actually almost going to be a benefit in terms of just being able to tweak out, like, uh, discount health augment. All right, and this should be it. And again, this would have probably been a decent time to consider doing Big Bang. I just don't know if we would have had enough time to finish it. Okay, so one of the hardest runs I've definitely done in the demo. Uh, we'll probably be getting another couple out, um, either of this or Astalos before the full game comes out. Uh, if you haven't gotten it already, I do have an official referral link with Capcom through Nexus.gg. Um, this helps to support the stream if you get it. If you're getting the, the deluxe version, as of right now, it is on sale. Uh, so you can check that out in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, check out the stream, twitch.tv slash sdshepard. Uh, stream there pretty much every day, and I'd love to see you over there. All right, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see another weapon. Uh, there's not enough time for everything. Um, so let me know what, which one you want to see next. Until next time, good luck. Have a good hunt.